In this video, we will see how to apply this picture and do it in Microsoft Word. Uh, for first, for this picture, I have the title Introduction to Computer CSCI 200 Week 3 Exercise. I have a text effect, uh, size 18, uh, I have 200, 200 subscript, and for the second part of title, I have a double red border. So, in Microsoft Word, first, I will choose center. I will choose the text effect and size 18 introduction to computers CSCI 200 week 3 exercise uh, for 200, I will mark 200. I will click here on subscript. For week 3 exercise, I will mark week 3 exercise. From here, border and shading. I will make sure here, apply to text. I will choose double border, color red, and I will click on OK. So now I applied the title, Introduction to Computer, CSI 200, 200 subscript, week 3 exercise with double red border now i will add the paragraph use rand one to generate the paragraph uh, with times in new roman size 12 and uh, align justify and 1.5 line spacing so after the title i will click here on clear formatting equal rand of one i will generate the paragraph i will make it times in new roman 12 and uh, align justify and 1.5 line spacing so now for, uh, for this paragraph i have as uh, a second statement is double strike bold and double strike is true so from here to add bold to add double strike through i go to font options here i check double strike through and I click on ok also i have a shading from here i click on shading i choose the color also i can notice that i have a drop cap on v so i will select the v from insert tab here i choose the drop cap i have the style dropped now after that paragraph i will add this shape a white background uh, orange border and type it my id and name inside it so uh, i will go to insert i will go to shapes i will search for the shape i need i use the mouse to draw it now i need to customize I change the style I need to type first ID for example one one two two three three four four and my name for example Muhammad I have the align inside it is to the left ID is bold name also is bold and like this I did the shape so for now i applied the title applied the shape and i applied the paragraph if i need my my id and name to be italic simply i can select the id and make it italic and select my name and make it italic after the table uh, after the paragraph i have the table for the table first uh, I need to know how many rows and how many columns. For the rows, I have one, two, three, and four. For the columns, I have one, two, three, four, five. So, in insert table, I have five columns and four rows. Let's first do the merging. For the merging, I have only in first row, uh, merge, I merge the five columns. Uh, and I have double border, double line border, and a fill color yellow 
and exam distribution bold, italic, and centered. Also, I have the symbol copyright. So, uh, first step, I will merge the five from here. I may select the five columns and click merge cells. Uh, I will type inside it exam distribution. Also, I will go to insert symbol. I will add the copyright symbol. For the alignment, I will choose centered alignment. From the design, I will fill it, the color. And from home, I will make it, it bold and italic. And finally, for the border, again, to design tab, borders, border and shading, I will choose here, apply to cell. A box because at top bottom left and right same style I will choose double line border and click on ok now I did the first row now I will fill the rest I have word excel Cisco PowerPoint participation I have all these bold so I will select these cells bold here I will type word excel uh, Cisco PowerPoint participation, Cisco PowerPoint participation. For the percentage, I have 25%, uh, 25%, 15%, 25%, and 10%. Also, I have uh, week 5, week 9, week 10, week 14, week 15. So I will type week 5, week 9, week 10, week 14, and week 15. As for the alignment, I have for the first uh, column aligned left, second, third, and fourth align center, and the last align to the right. So, uh, here align is correct to the left. For these cells, the align is middle and center, and for the last column, the align is to the right. Now, I finished the table. After the table, I have this smart art or this shape. I can do it in uh, using shapes or smart art. So uh, let's uh, do it. I will go to insert smart art. I will choose the style and click on OK. Now it has, the shape will be added. I can from here change the size. From here I will have to change the text. I have Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now, I did the smart art. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. I can, from here, change the size. After the smart art, I have two text box. The first text box is aligned center. The second text box, the text is aligned to the right. Also in the first text box, I have uh, the word video has a strike too. So uh, I will go uh, to here from insert text box. I will choose the first text box. I will generate a random text I can directly control C control V generate a second text box I will change the style the size for the first text box the align is center and I have the word video bold and strike through for the second text box the align is to the right uh, 
after the text box I have the formula for the formula I have formulas then I have a list and three formula so let's do it now I will type formula formulas is bold and italic and underline bold italic and underline and two point now I will clear formatting and I have a list I will insert the three equations I have a equal PR2 a2 plus b2 equal c2 and x equal so I will add first a equal PR2 enter again insert from equation I will add a2 plus b2 and again from insert equation I will add x equal now I have uh, the formula done I can from here uh, change the position now after the formula finally I have before the footer I have a hyperlink for the hyperlink I have hyperlink and go to LIU so I have here type hyperlink I will make it bold italic underline now I will clear formatting I will add uh, before now here I will add I will remove bold italic and underline go to LIU uh, I will select go to LIU from here insert link I choose the address for example to go to LIU.edu.lb and click on OK finally for the picture I have to add a page number at the bottom of the page to do that simply I go to insert page number bottom of page and I choose the style I need and the page number will be added once added I will click on close and like this I did this picture and do it exactly in Microsoft Word thank you